Okay. So, looks like I need to... <sighs> looks like I need to, some, to explain some things. So, this has always been hard for me. I've always been up front with you guys. I've always been up front with my situation, what's been going on with me, the whole nine yards. Okay, but this has gotten to the point to where it's gotten so serious. I have seen YouTubers left and right from many different communities lose their subscribers, lose their, you know, get a lot of hate comments, and just completely just downrate their their channels. And unfortunately, I'm one of them. So, it's come down to this. Um, I've been getting a lot of hate comments myself. I've lost a lot of subscribers. And, unfortunately, the growth of my channel has been diminished. To the point to where the growth of it and the way that I was hoping it would go has just completely gone in a different direction than what I was hoping for um, don't get me wrong the fishing community has skyrocketed so high it's it's ridiculous and I'm so happy so pleased with that but the sad part is is that the YouTube community has gone into what I would say is a rage subscription, which means that people nowadays just only want to subscribe just to throw out hate, just want to throw out or, or throw people down, degrade them, and just it. There's no need for it. Really, there's no need for it. I mean, seriously, the YouTube community is not something that is to be taken lightly. Not like that, at least. It's it's so that people can enjoy themselves, get creative, do things that they love to do, or do things that they never thought that they could do ever. And my channel was specifically built on those ideals. You know, it was, it was built so that, you know, y'all could see... What I enjoy doing. Y'all could see what adventures I go through. You know, where I go. You know, uh, catching fish from new regions, new locations, new species, and new, you know, new ways of catching fish. And yet, my channel has dropped dramatically. Like, I never thought my channel would go through this. For one. And for two, I'm also speaking on behalf of other YouTubers as well. You YouTubers like... Um, I, they used to be called, I apologize if I butcher this, but they used to be called Jack and Gab, okay? Jack and Gab, oh my gosh, they were awesome. But due to his situation and, you know, what he's going through with his new girlfriend or crush, um, he's just gotten so much hate and so much, it's ridiculous. And aside from the fishing community, aside from YouTube... So many other communities within YouTube have also been so, so rageful, so hated on, and it's it, there's no need for it, guys. There's really no need for the hate. There's really no need because we didn't come on here so, so, so that you could throw your hate at us. We came here to enjoy ourselves, and yet... We're getting all this from you guys, and now YouTube is taking down our channels, taking down what we enjoy doing. And we're sitting here baffled because people just love to, to do this. And it stands to reason how maybe even in the United States, maybe even the U.S., how things, you know, how the economy is going down as well, like... Everyone's just throwing out hate. Everyone's just throwing out, you know, their side, you know, oh, you should be doing this or oh, you should be doing that and being all angry about it. There's no need for it. Everyone's just being petty and just like, 
You know, how, how there's so many freaking Karens out there who freaking hate motorcyclists. Or, you know, how many people that there are who hate a certain person because of their looks. Or hate fishing because, you know, the fact that, you know, we're catching fish and, you know, damaging the, the, the uh, ecosystem. You realize nine times out of ten, most YouTubers who are going fishing release the fish? I mean, come on. Why are we getting attacked? Why are why are we the YouTube community, the the fishing community, the couples community, or whoever, whatever the community may be? Why are we the ones who are getting so much getting so much hate, getting attacked so much? I don't understand it. This is why I am deciding to take a long long vacation from YouTube um, if I get the opportunity to make videos I will do it but here's another reason here's the second reason why I am taking a step back from YouTube I am also going through a financial mental struggle right now it is so ridiculous I can't I can't even fathom to explain it to you the only source of being able to provide content for you guys is through my phone literally I'm using my phone right now I don't have a computer don't have a speaker to put on my camera don't ha have even a camera you know itself I don't even have a GoPro okay so I'm literally struggling to provide content for you guys literally so if it's come down to this okay it's if I'm struggling this much you would also understand why I am not making that much uh, or providing that much videos or content I'm just I'm doing what I can um, I am trying to provide for myself. I'm trying to work on so many things as far as just trying to survive, trying to make a living, and maybe even trying to provide a future family from, you know, <laughs> if I even get the chance to have one. I'm literally struggling in the fact that I'm getting the hate and seeing so many other YouTubers getting the hate. I've decided to step up and say something. And I'm saying enough is enough. Now, keep in mind, I'm not quitting YouTube per se. My channel will always still be up. My my fishing videos will always still be up and like i said previously if i ever get the chance to make videos again it will be on the rare occasions where i can do so but i wouldn't count on me actually continuously making uh making content for you guys I will, however, keep on my promise because I've I made promises to my my viewers. Um, I've met some of my my subscribers, or I don't even know if y'all are still subscribed to my channel. But I've made some promises to my subscribers that whenever I got the opportunity to make videos I would put out fishing tips um, and techniques but I'm pretty this is not what the third reason why I'm so adamant about not making any more content because that's pretty much just the only thing that's coming to mind whenever it comes to making content for you guys is make is making tips and techniques and I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to keep seeing that over and over again because 
y'all want to see see me actually use these techniques use these tips and put them to use and actually see me catch fish with them and it's that's the struggle because i don't have the equipment that i need to be able to provide you the content that you are looking for i can't i can't do anything but this so it's it's a real struggle guys so i want to say ahead of time i apologize for all this for the wait for for everything that i put you guys through y'all have been waiting for so long for another video it's been months literally months maybe even eight to ten months since y'all had seen a last video and i don't blame y'all at all i don't I don't even blame some of my subscribers for leaving. Okay? Because it's the struggle is real, guys. The struggle is real. Especially nowadays with COVID-19 being a problem. You know, it's 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 hard. It's getting harder and harder. But Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is probably the last video I'm going to post for a while. So if you guys do see another video after this, it will be on the rare occasion that I get those opportunities. So thank you guys so much for watching Country Life Outdoors. I am your host, Dominic Burris, and I will see you on the next one. Hopefully.